What is going on ladies and genitals? Megan's Fox here coming to you with another League of Legends commentary. Now in this video I am playing as the new champion that was released today, Lucian, who is an amazing AD carry. So as you see right here, I pop my W, hit my Q off, get him with the auto attack, flash to try to get the uh, Kale, but he does get away unfortunately. Oh, he almost died! God damn it, Bobby. So I'm like, alright. So I was in a chat with my my duo partner here, and I was like, hey, check this out. Boom! W, and I completely missed and failed and felt like an idiot. So it is whatever. This is a blind pick match, as you can see. That's the only way that I could possibly get a video up on the day of the champion releases because, you know, everyone rushes to get that auto lock in and get it for everyone else. So I had to be quick with the fingers to even get a game in. But yeah, his mechanics are, like, really weird. Um, like, his ult... Oh, God. <laughs> I get pooped on here. Right there, I use my E so that... Once she puts a slow on me, I can use my E just to get away here. So I knew I was going to die once she flashed. So I just popped my barrier. Oh, I missed an auto attack there. I'm just trying to get the auto. Oh, get him, Lulu. Get him, you little pink bitch. Get him. It tastes purple. Oh, uh, so she gets away. Whatever. So, like I was saying before, Lucian's mechanics are really, really weird. Now, here's what I mean. His ultimate shoots in one direction and you can only strafe. Uh, you can't, like, move the way it shoots. So you look like a complete retard, and they'll just start shooting the air, and every, everything around them look like Helen Keller mode. Um, it took me a couple games to actually get that down. Um, it's a really good kiting. It's like a misfortune ult, but while you're moving. Um, the only difference is someone can block it. It can't hit multiple targets. Uh, it's bi I think it's more of like a solo target or a one target type deal, but I don't want to go too in depth. About that, because I don't know too much about him yet, so I don't want to give you guys any false information. However, I will say this. Do not get Blade of the Rune King on him. Blade of the Rune King did get nerfed, and it is bad on him. This guy is more of a burst damage type AD carry. He is not... His auto attacks are pretty freaking weak. So you want to make sure you get Bloodthirster first. Um, then get Brutalizer. And then Last Whisper. Uh... I, the first time I played him, I built Blade of the Rune King, and I built like you would, like, Graves, oh, not Graves, sorry, um, like a vein type thing, I got Blade of the Rune King first, then I got Infinity Edge, and let me tell you, that was the worst decision of my life, I did, like, no damage, uh, but you'll see here in a bit why the build I go, it does a lot of damage, you'll see the outcome of it, get off my dick, Lucifer, or Lucian, I said Lucifer, oh my god, I'm so bad, I don't even know his name. Alright, so he just popped his ult, and I had to pop my barrier, but I do get away. Uh, Alright, so let's fast forward here so we don't have to keep seeing me go back. That's a boring thing to watch. Oh god, we... Oh, that's alright, whatever. I didn't get the kill anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so just clearing out the wave. So, in lane, you want to max out your Q as AD carry. Um, if you play him mid-AP, you want to go W first. Because the W uh, procs with AP damage, and it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, I actually played him AP earlier. He does a good amount of damage. His ults and W do pretty good uh, damage, but he's not really worth going AP in my opinion. Just trust in the build that I show you guys. You'll see how much damage he winds up doing. So right now, I'm still building into my Bloodthirster. Got my Vamp Scepter. Pop my... You want to pop your W and then your Q if you wind up hitting the person... Uh, with the W, I believe you get extra speed from it, uh, and an extra auto attack, so you want to, like, hit them with a W, then auto attack, then Q, then do all your abilities, so. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not sure if you should, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe maxing out W first in lane, but I would, for AD carry, definitely Q. As you saw there, the Q does a good amount of damage as time goes on. It's kind of hard to hit as well, because you can't really just aim it. You can't aim it at a champion. You have to, like, aim it at the minions and then hope that uh, you proc it onto the champion. Like, through the minions. It's really weird. So, like I said, his mechanics are going to take a while to get used to. Um, it's definitely new. It's a newer type of mechanic than all the other champions that I'm used to playing. But it's all good. This is the first of many gameplays to come out of him, I promise. Good job by that. Uh, Lucian right there to dodge my W. His E is b exactly like Graves, only better, because the reason that it's better is because it takes off any slow. So if Kel was to slow me, let's say Kel slowed me, 
Uh, Sejuani slowed me, and then someone else slowed me. All I'd have to do is press E, and all those slows come off me. It's like a Yi ult. Or an Olaf. So it's really cool. But you gotta make sure you time it right. You wanna make sure it's, they use their slows on you first before using it. Alright, so just... Right now, just clearing the way. We have good wave clear between me and Lulu. Both our Qs. Kinda do the same thing, actually. So it's pretty cool. Alright, looks like I'm going back to pick up my Bloodthirster here, so let's fast forward to the point where we get back in lane. Hopefully I don't skip too far ahead. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we're back in lane now with my Bloodthirster. That was the first time I've ever... See right there, the Q damage did a good amount of burst onto that Kale. Can you stop shooting me, you wings of bitch? Alright, so... That Lucif Lucian... Oh my god, I'm gonna keep saying Lucifer! Oh my god, I gotta stop. Oh, it's so hard to say Lucian for some reason. Alright, so, look at that Q damage. Uh, with that Bloodthirster, that burst damage OP. So this is a perfect example why you want to get Bloodthirster first. Now, I'm going to say this to my future self. Um, I'm going to feel really stupid if Bloodthirster winds up being, like, not what you get on him in the future. Because, th obviously, this is the first day that the champion came out. But I have a feeling, and, like... Months from now, when I look back at this, I'm going to be like, Wow, I was really freaking bad and didn't know how to build them or do anything. And I told all my viewers and subscribers the wrong thing. So right there, I pop my flash and ult to take down that Kale. Use my hyper beam bullets on there. Just unloaded all over her face. Oh god, that's a sexual reference. I apologize. Oh well. Alright, so, getting dragon now. The other Lucian had to back out. Taking out the dragon, dragon balls, dragon ballsy. All right, so, oh, does Lucian even know what's going on right now? All right, so I was waiting for him to pop his E, but he wound up not doing that. He pops his ult. I just straight to the side and uh, get out of his way. See, so, yeah, the best way really to use his ult is to aim it in the direction you want and then just strafe left, right, left, right, left, right. That's really the best way to do it, because if you try to, like, shoot, you can't shoot diagonally, you can't move where you shoot. Once you pick the direction that you shot in, you can only strafe left and right, and it'll still shoot that way, so, it's weird. It takes, it takes a bit of getting used to. Alright, so, right now I'm pretty, I'm out farming their AD carry pretty hard right now. I don't know what that, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, was as if, like, that got, Kale had, like, a skill shot or something that I was trying to dodge. I should have just waited until he used the slow, then Eid. Oh well. I think it's just because I'm used to Graves. His E works differently. Well, it does diff- Never mind, ignore me. I'm stupid. An ally has been slain. Alright, so I am going back. Let's see what I pick up here. I think I pick up a Brutalizer. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Finish off my boots there. Get my Berserker Greaves going. And I start to build into a Brutalizer. Trust in this build, guys. Just trust in it. Alright, so fast forward to when I'm back in lane here. Alright, so she gave me his little speed boost. Can't really do anything right now. Just waiting. Oh, look at that Q damage right there. Did you see that? Did you see that? Yo, Kale, what are you going to do? Sejuani says she's on the way. So I'm going to just keep my eyes open for her. Right now I'm just baiting them, trying to keep them here. Alright. Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh, get away from me. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. He just set me on fire. Oh, you bastard. Worth. Hashtag worth. Got the double kill. Now I can finish off my Brutalizer. I do have enough. And then we can go back into lane here. So I really should have kept my... I should have focused on their uh, Lucian instead of their... Um, support which is kind of dumb of me i just let him do free damage to me so i played that pretty shitty but i think that's one of my i think that might be my last death i don't remember i'm gonna feel stupid once it says in the title like how many deaths i have and i think that's the end of it but whatever all i know is i get a lot more a lot more kills this game than i do deaths so I do apologize if this isn't pro gameplay. I mean, he is, he did, he did just come out, so I'm working on it. I'll make sure I make uh, more 
videos in the future of him when I get better at it. All right, so this this bitch confused me. Oh, she's going so ham on me. I'm wait. Oh, I don't know. I shouldn't. She slowed me. Oh my god. Uh uh. Oh my god. Kale popped perfect ult by Kale. Good job. Good job. I looted to pop her ult. Knocks them up. Pop my Q to do damage. She. Okay. Get one. Oh yeah. Here we go. The great chase. The great chase. Get back here. Oh. Uh. Flash from my. E. Okay. This is the biggest fail ever. Miss the Q. Use my W. It hits the fucking minion in the back, and I'm not gonna get the kill because of that. I would like a round of applause for that epic fail. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and clap here. Good job, Megan Fox. You fucking suck. God, that could have been such a good triple kill, and I completely choked because my mechanics with him are god awful. For some reason, I keep thinking your W will like fly through the minions. I forgot if you hit minions, it stops. Ugh, God. Some call it magic. What a dingus I am, what a dingus. <laughs> Alright, so going back now. What am I going to purchase? I don't know why I bought that dagger for that speed. Uh, You know what? Let's just go ahead and finish the black cleaver. There's a chip. It's very that re it's a really good item for your ult. Trust me. All right, let's fast forward here. All right, so we did fast forward ahead, pushing this lane. Oh my God, they're all mid. Making my way to mid, cause my whole team is fighting right there. All right, I wanted to go in hot here. Just pop my W, to get her off my D. Alright, not sure why Alessandro went in on that. Alright, so use my ult. I got one of them by accident, I think. And then she goes down. So, I get one kill and three assists. I'll take it. Even though I really wanted the kills. She gets them. See, right there, I played that poorly. I should have waited for my ult when I was running in a straight line. But it, instead, I decided to shoot diagonally. And I missed a lot of people out of it because of it. I was, it was still stuck in my head that I could like move the direction I was shooting while I was strafing for some reason. And that's the mistake you gotta work, like make sure you don't uh, do. So learn from my mistakes and my terrible mechanics. If I would have just walked it, if I would have waited and shot him in a straight line, I probably would have got a quadra kill with my ult. Some call it magic, I call it good aim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing colder than death. Um, actually, that might be a false statement. Alright, so just clearing these waves here, getting farm I can. That was the worst Q ever. Alright, so, after you max out your Q, max out your W, then your R, then your E. E is the last thing you really have to worry about. Now, from what I, I think I can remember, is like, his E resets if you get a kill with your R. I believe that's how you how it works. Oh, nice ult by Sejuani. Gonna pop my ult. Uh, uh. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. Lit his butt up. Lit his butt up. Oh man, she, the Sejuani's going ham. I'm just trying to kite this shiz. Uh, you pop my E there. Keep going. All right, so she does use her ult on me. Good job by Sejuani. Kale pops her ult onto Lissandra, but it's okay. I'm gonna get him. No, I'm not. I lied. I suck. Oh my God, they're not gonna die. Uh, Lulu keeps speed boosting me. Oh, he could go all the way. Get a rampage. Oh, yeah. Good job by Lulu to keep me speed boosted there. Lulu with, uh... I'm just going to say this guy because I keep forgetting his name. I'm not used to his name yet. Lucian is a really good combination. It's a wombo combo speed boost. All right, so I guess... They wanted to do dragon here. So Aatrox is on his way. We did kill one of them. Two of them were weak, so they went back. Uh, there should be a free dragon here. Look at all that farm on bottom. I got my eyes on that. Come on. Kill this dragon. Dragon bone. Alright, so I just let them finish it off because I want to go get that farm. I have 2.6k gold right now that I really need to go back to and buy. But you know what? The more farm, the, me the better. So, the more the merrier. Alright, pop my Q just so I 
Because that turret was going to get it if I didn't. Just going to push this wave as fast as I can. And then go back. Because I'm low on mana and I have plenty of gold. So let us skip forward. Onward. ay -ah. A little more. ay -ah. Okay. There we go. So I did pick up my last Whisper. And I think I'm building into a Man Immune right now. Which is also really good on him. Because uh, think of his like... Think of his W's as a Jace Q, if that makes any sense. So it would be plus he uh, is really mana dependent, Lucian, especially early game. So maybe it'd be good to get a tier on him early. I never really thought about that. I might actually start doing that in future videos to try it out. All right, so we're just pushing this, pushing the wave. Okay, come on, you know you want to fight us. Oh! Almost got a spear to the hamster butt. Oh, beautiful job. Great ult. So I pop my ult. Right now I'm just strafing. Strafing through the crowd right now. Pop my Q, my W. Oh, it's got a double kill with that Q right there. Triple kill. Quadro kill. Ugh! Oh, wasn't a quadro kill? Oh, it was just a triple? Oh, you fucking thief. I thought it was a quadro kill. Oh, well. Alright, so... Aatrox Q and my Q, I mean his E and my Q, got that good wave clear going. Shoot my little blueberry nut sacks at them. Alright, just take out these dirt. Get the fuck away from me, little hamster doctor. That Aatrox wants that turret, man. Alright, now we're gonna back out. All right, so now I'm looking at 2K gold. I have 217 farm at 28 minutes. That's pretty decent farm, I would say. Uh, not pro standards, but I would say either normal or a little above. All right, so I was hoping that the blue buff was up, but apparently it's not. So that's a bummer. All right, so it looks like I might go back here. Let's go ahead and fast forward to when we get back into lane or game, whatever. All right, there we go. So, yes, I did pick up my man immune. And that is also a really good item. I found that this build was really good. I, this was literally an experimental build because the build I did before wasn't working. Like I said, the Blade Rune King, Infinity Edge, uh, Phantom Dancers, or whatever. Because he's not an auto attack, an auto attack champion. You really like the only way his auto attacks are really that good is if you land a W. So his Q uh, and his W and all that stuff is R. He's purely burst damage. So you want to make sure. That you, actually, I think Man of you might be a core item of his. Now that I'm really thinking about it, I feel it really might be. Especially since early game, he's so mana dependent. Okay. So, got my ult up. His ult is a pretty on a pretty low cooldown. Uh, mid and late game. Even early game, it's pretty low as well. Alright, so just taking out these turrets. Oh, come on, Sejuani, you want some of this, you little bear bitch? Oh, God. Oh, God, she wants my D. Alright, so I just go ahead and pop my ult. Oh, take him out. I don't know what they were doing, man. I think Sejuani was expecting Kale to alter or something, and he just didn't. Oh, my God, the WQ. Did you see that damage? Did you see that damage? The W to Q burst damage is just GG. All right, hit him with my W. Oh, I was like, oh, you want to go, Lucian? 1v1? Come on. Lucy Inception. Lucy Inception. Yeah, he didn't want it. All right. So it looks like... Oh, Lissandra. Dodged her little claw of doom. The claw. It's a Toy Story reference. All right, looks like blue buff. Is there a blue buff up? It might be. Hopefully it is this time. Pop my W to make sure. When you shoot your W into the fog of war or someplace where you can't see anything and it hits whatever, if it hits anything, obviously, um, you will get vision on it. So that's, that's a good thing to have right there. Oh God. My team is going in hot. Don't go in hot without me. I want to get in on the action. Run, run. All right. All right, bait him. Just bait him, Lulu. We got this. Pop my Q. Use my W. I mean, 
W then my Q. What am I saying? Use my E to catch up. Oh, you ain't going anywhere. Oh, that auto attack just goes right up to in her tuckus. And she goes down. And she's... <laughs> oh, man. I, I used my ult. That was a bad ult, but whatever. Oh, nice ult. Use my Q. Oh, God. Just go down. Yes, my auto attack hits her in the butt, too. Oh, I got him a butt pirate this game. Oh, we want to go in hot? Want to keep going in hot? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nidalee with the Spear of Doom. Looks like we'll be able to take out this inhibitor right here. Oh, you what's up? Oh, back up, bitch. Mm. All right, so that is going to end the game, I think. Let's let's see. Oh, look at that ult. Oh, he gets out of it. Oh, I got my W. Bam. Oh, my God, he doesn't die. That is super unfortunate. Oh, my God, you see. All right, so I got my slow out of the way. Dodge his ult. Oh, 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 and I die. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And please remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and please remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to watch me stream, I stream every day at twitch.tv slash Megan's Fox. So make sure to check that out as well. Thank you guys, and see you in the next video.